All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another, 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 another crazy video. Okay, so I had to put a lot of others in that because, bro, this one is crazy. Okay, this one is crazy. The, the left is at it again. They're at it again with their nonsense, their uncommon sense. Look, look, I said uncommon sense. They don't have common sense. Okay, common is not common. Common sense is not common to them. All right. So without further ado, man, we can go ahead and get to this video. It's crazy, bro. It's more than one video that I got to show y'all, but this one in particular, oh man, this is crazy. All right, so hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Without further ado, and I'm talking to get it to go. Yeah, Gender normativity. Thank you, Craig. Are you manager? Obviously not. You lied about that. Lie, lie, lie. You cross the leaves. I'm fucking sick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just call police. I'm calling. We are not calling. So, what is what is your gender? Hey, lady, hey, sassy lady, where that butt going? Fucking shitty lady. Come here, little girl. I'm gonna shit all over that little girl. You fucking whore. You fucking whore. I'm a fucking whore. I'm 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 fucking whore. I'm
I've never, I'm, I'm not going to be a person who's going to go away, go around saying white lives matter. Like, I think that sounds a little, right. A little not good. So give me like a little bit more details. Like why black lives matter? Um, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the whole like controversy around it. I just, I'm not like a huge fan of people who like, are with the like all lives matter thing I think uh-huh. it's just a little i think it's just doing too much a little bit are you saying black lives matter because of 2020 or just in general no, 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 no just in general i i mean i feel like it's been a thing for more like longer than 2020 like it was a thing before that huh? oh okay all right bad. Pre- bro bro i have to throw a bottle of water at her because what she needed some holy water on her. Because how in the world? You, you, you sitting here looking. So, you're scared. You're scared to get canceled. Bro, how many times do I got to say this? They cannot cancel the truth. Okay? I don't care how many times they try to take you off social media. None of that. They can't cancel facts. They can't cancel truth. Why are you scared to get canceled? You are a white girl saying that you're not with all the all lives matter. How disrespectful that is to yourself as a white person. Seriously. how Your life matters. It, 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 like your life matters how oh lord y'all y'all man i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a heart attack mess once you left people bro like I, I i i just try to i try to find the common sense in the in the in the logic in what y'all say but it can't be found it's like a un y'all are npcs non-playable characters literally y'all are non-playable characters like the logic that y'all have has not even been unlocked yet because it would never it would never be unlocked because it's not even common sense. It's not common. Like what like what are you saying here, bro? You can't you sit in here telling me that, oh, I I, I just don't like the like the all lives matter. I just feel like it's a little bit too much. Just admit that you go with what society tells you to go with. Just admit it. The left, they lean more towards what society says rather than what the facts say. They lean more towards what 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 their feelings want to feel like, what the flesh feels like, rather than what the facts are. You know what I'm saying? That's what they lean towards. You lean towards more what society tells you. Society says, "Hey, all Black Lives Matter. White people this, and white people that," and you just go with it. You just go with it. Like say what's on your heart. Say what's on your mind. Stop stop being a little stop being a little dog for society, bro. Stop being dragged around with society because society think away doesn't mean you have to think away. I pick my, I choose to follow truth. I choose to follow truth. I don't care what society tells me about the Bible. I don't care what society tells me about this and about abortion. And I follow truth. I follow what I know to be truth. What makes logical sense. Like that's what I follow. What makes logical sense? I don't follow all the nonsense and the bull crap that society try to feed us. You follow all the bull crap. You're a white person saying that uh, that black lives matter. I'm not saying black lives don't matter. Black lives do matter. White lives matter. Asian lives matter. Hispanic lives matter. Every life that has every life that is on this earth that comes from God matters. That simple as that. Like just put it plain as that, bro. Man. You guys be, man, y'all y'all be really tweaking out here, bro. Now this this one right here. This is the last one, y'all. This is the this is the la- this is the last one. And this one is just ridiculous, bro. It's, it's it's always the people that look like this that 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 got so much to say. All right, let's let's get into this one. White niceness as a tool of white supremacy. Huh? Did you know that most white people have mastered the art of niceness? Oh. It's 100% fake phony and disingenuous let me explain it's a conditional niceness based on how well you perform for coddle and pander to whiteness white supremacy and white people basically as long as you don't make them feel uncomfortable don't mention white supremacy culture don't challenge them in any way call them out on harmful behavior or talk about racism they'll perform this fake niceness for you but as soon as you break the code of niceness you better watch out The white tears, harassment, abuse, defensiveness, name calling, threats, calling the police on you and making false accusations against you, to name a few, will be thrown at you almost immediately. The problem is many white people have been taught to weaponize niceness as a tool of white supremacy. 
You mask your anti-black racism with niceness because you want people to think that you're a good person and that you can never be racist because you're so nice. Lies. Another way you weaponize niceness is by making anyone or anything that is not nice, according to white supremacist culture standards, your ultimate enemy. So, of course, talking about racism is considered not nice in white supremacy culture. As a result, you think you're entitled to attack, harass, and gaslight black people who speak out against racism because we're not being nice and we're making you feel uncomfortable. Never mind how uncomfortable being the target of anti-black and systemic racism and discrimination is. Meanwhile, the harmful, dangerous, and deadly anti-black racism that you're trying to mask with your niceness is doing an incredible amount of damage and harm to the black people around you. So I have some not so nice news for you. Anti-black racism is not nice. Systemic racism is not nice. White supremacy is not nice. Pretending like they don't exist is not nice. Also, there's no nice way to talk about racism or any other form of abuse or oppression. Deal with it and do better. Your niceness is actually not nice at all. It's negative, negligent, and neglectful. Can we, can we have a moment of silence? For the bull crap that you just spoke. What? Huh? I, I, I'm so, oh Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up to the uppity up. Like, what are you talking about, woman? Niceness is a sign of white supremacy and race. And if we break the niceness code and talk about racism, we better watch it. Oh my gosh, I lose so many brain cells reacting to why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? First off, lady, first off, let's let's talk about something here. What all the nonsense you just spoke, it, it's not it, no words can even express the amount of nonsense you just spoke. Do, do you even believe the stuff that came out of your mouth? Like, do you even believe that? D do you truly believe the, the words that came out of your mouth, woman? Like, I'm just, I'm so confused with the way that, that the people, that people think. Like, I'm, I'm so confused, bro. You people talk so much about white this and white that and racism and y'all make up so many different things about race and about all of this stuff that just continue to divide us. The only race it is, is the human race. I don't understand why we white this and black this and those this and white this and white that. Like, bro, this is not, this shouldn't be a battle between a race. Like, it, it, we shouldn't be having battles between our, our, our ethnicity and things like, like, we just shouldn't, bro. Y'all, y'all, like, I'm, I'm just, like, confused, bro. Like, I can't even bottle up everything you said because I stopped listening to you. I, like, I, I seriously did. That's why I was froze for a hot second. Like, I look like Joe Biden out here. Like, I was literally froze because I just stopped listening. Now, Joe Biden, he on some other stuff. Me, personally, I just stopped listening to you. Like, yeah, I can't even bottle in everything you said because once you even was talking about the the niceness of white people and how is how is not... Lord, oh Lord, have mercy, man. Ha, ha, please, please. I, I just the moment you give you the moment you give yourself to Christ is the moment you honestly start to have like you the moment you stop to really think about you you stop thinking about racism. You stop thinking about how society tells you how oppressed you are as a black person. You stop thinking about how you feel like every white person is racist. Like this is the stuff that I talk about on a daily basis because a lot of people like her. Now, I don't know if she's been hurt because mo majority of people that talk like this about white people, they they most likely been hurt in their in their past or something like that. Or majority of them just 
go go to the history books they read about racism and they read about oh and they read about the segregation they read about the slavery they read about all that stuff and they're so traumatized by it, even though they didn't go through it they're traumatized by it. it traumatized them to the point where they feel this certain way around white people or better yet they look at the media and how the media portray white people to be especially white officers and we don't know the whole story but because we see a white man shoot because we see a white officer shoot a black man we automatically think oh that's racism that's black that that's this that's that black lives matter like the automatic we start to think like that bro i'm telling you bro the moment you give yourself and you surrender to christ bro is the moment you start to look at you start to look at life in a total different in a, a total different lens i don't look at life as oh i'm black i can't do this oh i'm black no because if god has a plan for me guess what that plan will prevail simple as that that plan will prevail so i don't even care about racism i don't care about because at the end of the day bro like the goal is to make America great again. The goal is to all come to a common ground, which I guarantee we do but never come to a common ground because you got people on the left that believes in this and that, that, that supports this. And then you got people on the right that supports the common things, the common sense things, the things of the Bible. Not everything is biblical on the right end, but I'm just saying that majority of the stuff that the right wing support is biblical principles that we should, that we should honor and that we should have respect for. But yet a lot of us don't. You know what I'm saying? But I say all that because it's like, bro, the goal is just to make America great again. And that's why I say I don't really care for race. I don't really care for the whole oppressed thing. Like, I'm not oppressed. And when it comes to racism, I never experienced racism in America. I'm not saying it's not out there. It's definitely out there. But that's not my main focus right now. My main focus ain't on white people being racist or even black people being racist because black people can be racist. Debate me if you want to, but I'm telling you, black people definitely be racist. But anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. This is a this is a video full of nonsense, so I'm sorry if y'all lost a lot of brain cells. I'm sorry. I apologize. Go ahead and subscribe, though. You know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We, 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 we like stuff like this. Go ahead and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, man. And without further ado, it's been your boy, The Plan. Uh, the, look, see, I can't even say my name, right? I done lost so many brain cells. I said the plan. What is the plan? My name is the Panda. Okay, the Pan TV is being a word. The Pan TV. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.